Got a bit of a Hendrix vibe going on today and uh, for reference I'm using Matt Schofield and this is from one of his songs called Red Dragon um, and it's a full-on Hendrix style tune uh, very similar to the vibe you get on the, the tune on Electric Ladyland Voodoo Child the, the 15 minute blues jam with Steve Winwood on keys. Anyway we're in E minor pentatonic and we're utilizing box 5 and box 4 for this lick. I'll play it through and then we'll break it down. Nasty. Right, so the, the positions, we've got box, we've got box five. So you can imagine your E minor pentatonic, you've got box one on the 12th fret. And then we've got box five behind that. And then we've got box four. And this lick comes in so we're in box five. Now the minor third for box five is on the G string on the 12th fret. So this is a cool position that, you know, it doesn't really get much love uh, most of the time, but it's great to get used to doing a few licks in here. And Hendrix did do a lot of cool stuff in here. Oh, and one thing as well, I'm tuned down a half step um, because Matt is on this video, but it's gonna work perfectly fine if you do it in standard tuning. It's just, a, if you wanna tune down half a step, <clears throat> And then you're going to get a bit more of a gnarly sort of Hendrixy tone. So we're going to come in and we're straight away we're going to bend up this 12th fret of the G string. And that's the minor third now. Remember we've got minor third now is on the G string 12th fret. And our root is on the 9th fret of the G. And I've got a bit of a boost going on here as well. So we've got minor third. And we're going to bend that up a quarter tone. And then we're going to go 10th fret on the B and then we're going to come back to that minor third. If you've not used this position before, it is kind of tricky because everything's sort of flip-flopped. But it's good to get used to playing licks out of, you know, other positions of the pentatonics if, they, if you're not used to it. So we're going to do that bend. And then back to the 10th fret of the, then we're going to do the 10th fret of the B. Then back to that minor third on the 12th fret of the G. And again, back to that B string 10th fret. And then we're going to do a pull off 11 back to 10. Now this 11th fret, that's the blue note, that's the flat five. And back to that minor third, back to that 10. So, so far we're just bouncing between that minor third and the 10th fret really. Then we're going to come to the 12th fret again, the minor third, and then go to the root on the on the 9th fret of the G. So, so far, so that quick pull off, we're going to be playing that 10th fret, then we pick again on the 11th, and we pull back off. Bend up. When we come over to that root, when we've gone minor third, back to the root, then we're going to do a stack. We're going to go 12 on the D, 12 on the G, and back to 12 on the D. So you're going to go. And if you let them ring together, it's going to give you a nice sort of dirty howl. Done that triple stack. We're going to go back to that root on the G string. I'm going to slide back to the seventh fret. This is going to put us in box four. Then we're going to come back to the D. We're going to come to the D on the ninth fret and play that. And then we're going to 
do this nasty. We're gonna grab the seventh fret of the D and the seventh fret of the G and we're gonna do this double stop. We're gonna pick both them and hammer in to the ninth fret and pull off. to the A string 10th fret that's our minor third and then to the seventh fret of the A string that's the root then we slide with our first finger to the fifth fret this is going to be the flat seven of the scale and then back to the root so all together really slow let's play it again to the fifth fret with our first finger on the A string and then it's just going to come crashing down we're going to hit the low E and the fifth fret and then we're going to do a trill to the seventh you can use your pinky or your third finger this dirt and we'll play it cleanly just so you can see and hear what's going on a bit better so that open E with that trill it's just saying Hendrix all over it again really slow position before it's going to be tricky coming from we're going to do this bend and it's going to feel a bit weird when you go back to that third and then to that root because this is you know this is a big it's like a minor third gap we don't normally do that if we're in position one you know it's quite comfortable here it's a bit it's a bit of a it's a bit of a big gap Hendrixy vibe I haven't got a uni vibe but if you put a tremolo on if you've got a tremolo I like to use a tremolo with a bit of overdrive and it gives you sort of a especially when you're half a step down you can get close to a Hendrixy type tone hammer on pull off when I go you know in this lick Matt specifically plays it then pulls off if you do a hammer on pull off it's still gonna be alright all right 
might have some fun with that. I will put the tabs plus this video on my Patreon page at some point soon. And I'll be back real soon with another video. Cheers.